What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and today we're at the VinFast campus for manufacturing in Vietnam and if you guys had seen the travel film with Vin Group, you could see all the different things that we're able to do on this trip and as I said, it is my first time in Vietnam and I'm so excited. This right here is the VinFast campus where they put together the cars that they sell both in Vietnam and are going to be in North America and Canada relatively soon. And in fact, VinFast is one of the first companies in the world to fully switch over to electric car models. And it's potentially my favorite type of video to make. Being able to visit a beautiful place like this as well as a state-of-the-art facility showing you guys the cutting edge tech and the innovations in VinFast products. It's just so exciting for me and my team. We're just about to head inside and show you guys different sectors, including the battery plant, the actual body shop, the assembly facility, and all of these different areas, as well as being one of the first members of media in the world to be able to actually test drive the car and also learn more about the design, technology, and also promise to customers of a great warranty program, a battery exchange program. There is just so much to cover and I'm so excited. I'd like to give a huge thanks to VinFast and Vin Group for sponsoring this video. And if you guys wanna go ahead and check it out for yourself in Canada, you can make a refundable deposit of $250 and you're actually going to get a credit for $3,500 on the VF8 and $6,000 off as a voucher on the VF9. So we're at the beautiful entrance of the VinFast campus and we're just about to head over to their headquarters now. So let's go ahead and take a look. So as a kid who watched How It's Made, being able to visit a manufacturing complex is always one of the highlights of my career. Seeing the process behind research and development and the manufacturing processes associated with that, as well as like the operations aspects of large manufacturers and producing products at scale is just as exciting as seeing the final product delivered to consumers. The next room that we checked out is the press shop. This is where the raw metal is pressed into the initial molds that make up the body of the car. From walking along the upper platform and seeing all the raw material on the right side to the finished product and quality control on the left side was really cool. The state-of-the-art press room at VinFast is the largest in Southeast Asia and is almost 100% automated as the technicians are operating and monitoring the entire process. On top of that, throughout each stage of the process, they also have a quality control department that takes a look at every little detail. This initial stage of the process is where the raw material really comes to life as we move on to the next facility. As raw materials are converted into the basic chassis, the next step was to move into the body shop. This is where the skeleton of the car comes together as all of the different pieces are welded into what is the base of the car. It was a really surreal theme park experience as we were driven through the entire processes of this modern body shop while 1200 machines were all in action with sparks flying around in a controlled situation. And the number of things happening around us was just overwhelming. You'll see recognizable parts. As you go up to the second level, you'll see like the doors lined up on one side with the rest of the frame of the car on the right side and having different viewpoints as each part slides to the other and comes together before heading off to the paint shop, which unfortunately we weren't allowed access to, but it made total sense because it is a sealed facility that has to ensure maximum cleanliness. With any electric car though, essentially the most important part is the battery. And the next stop was at the battery shop where they put together all the lithium ion cells and assemble it onto a platform before it gets connected into the vehicle. It was also really cool to see just how different each facility is and how customized it was to that specific need. For example, the manufacturing facilities in the first two stages were a lot more open and there was a lot more like automated action going on, whereas the battery facility is a lot more focused. It starts from a low voltage process to the high voltage installations and the battery platform automatically slides around the facility via a robot while playing some music just to make sure you don't get in the way because it's not gonna stop. Each piece was very meticulously monitored and installed before it gets charged up and tested prior to heading to final assembly. 
The VinFast VF8 features a maximum range of up to 471 kilometers, while the VF9 is able to reach up to 594 depending on the option that you select. The battery of the VF8 can charge from 10 to 70% in just 24 minutes, whereas the VF9 can do that in 26 minutes. What's even more impressive though is just how much VinFast stands behind their battery technology and reliability. The 10 year or 200,000 kilometer warranty is something that is unprecedented in the automotive industry. VinFast is a very unique approach with a battery subscription program that gives you three key benefits, including affordability, peace of mind, and sustainability. On top of that, the battery lease program is not only able to keep your initial costs down, but by picking a plan that suits your lifestyle and your mileage, you're able to get the best value. But I think what is most important about that battery leasing program is that you never have to worry about it deteriorating. As soon as the battery reaches below a 70% capacity, VinFest will actually swap it out right away for you, which essentially takes care of the most important part of the car and ensures that it is always nicely replenished and running at top performance. So there's no long-term liability or reliability factor that you have to worry about in the most important part of an electric car. It is definitely an interesting approach, but I feel like that is beneficial to the customers in multiple ways by keeping the initial cost down, but at the same time ensuring that it is always replaced when it's needed. The battery subscription pricing comes in at $139 a month for the VF8 and $199 for the VF9, which is significantly lower than the monthly cost of gas based on average usage. They're really looking to provide a luxury SUV that is intended for consumers and their families to drive for like a decade, for example. As we move on to the last step, this is the final assembly where all of the other manufacturing areas come together and the car essentially is brought to life. We're looking at the E34 here because this is what has reached mass production for the Vietnamese market of fully electric cars. The VF8 and the VF9 are models that are going to be available worldwide. And you can see all the exterior bodywork is put together, but this is where they actually assemble all the small elements of the drivetrain, the interior, and put together all the additional parts before the car reaches its final quality control. So from a design standpoint, there's also a really interesting story behind it that I think makes a lot of sense. Their lead designer, David Leon, in a past interview mentioned that VinFast had enlisted four of the top Italian design firms to design a car concept before they surveyed 60,000 Vietnamese consumer to choose the ultimate design and that is the one from Pininfrina, a legendary Italian design firm based in Turin who had previously designed for companies as prestigious as Ferrari. I think the design language itself is both functional while elegant, but at the same time, a very friendly approach. It's not exactly like flashy or striking, but it is sleek and practical. And I think as you look at the front, you have like the proud V that is displayed and it kind of goes seamlessly throughout the side body of the car. But I also really like the back and just how minimal the branding is, but also how the LED strip goes all the way across. I think that is one of my favorite design features in any car, but more specifically in electric cars. I've seen it become a very common thing and the color in particular that I personally really liked was the navy blue paired with like a brown interior. It just had like a very nice saddle look and that cross stitching was very elegant. The leather interior and finish is really well put together. It feels premium, well stitched, and it all comes together to house the large 15.6 inch display in the center. The base eco option comes with 19 inch rims, but I think if you go with the plus model, definitely go with the 21 inch rims because proportionally and everything, I think that is like a good way to just have the car look sportier, more elegant overall. And I did get to see that in person as well and thought it looked great. The panoramic sunroof is also a great feature found in the Plus model. As a company that is relatively new in the grand scheme of the automotive industry, I really like the fact that they did listen to consumers to be able to determine the best design for their consumer vehicle. And for the intended market that this vehicle is targeted towards, I think they absolutely nailed it from a design standpoint in integrating both an elegant but seamless design language. So if you're interested in the VinFast VF8 or VF9, don't wait to make a reservation because there are actually some great perks if you're the early ones before May 30th. By making a $250 refundable deposit in Canada, you're given an e-voucher to save $3,500 on the total price of the car if you go with the VF8 and $6,000 off of the VF9. On top of that, you also get a seven-day vacation in Vietnam. You can use that seven-day voucher on any of the VinPro resorts and there are so many to choose from, so you get a great trip to Vietnam out of it. VinFast aims to have deliveries to their first customers in late 2022, which is 
actually very impressive because that's coming up pretty soon. So now we're in the VinFast VF8, driving it for the very first time, and you guys have already seen the interior and everything, how good it looks, but in terms of power, this SUV is able to do zero to 60 in about five and a half seconds or so, which is exactly the same as what I get on my SUV at home, but this is an electric car, um, instant throttle and everything. So I'm very curious to see how this feels because we've had experience with multiple electric cars over the past few years. And some of them are very similar in a lot of ways with like the instant response, whereas others might have different characteristics that are specific to the brand. So being able to drive this for the first time is really awesome. Wow. The first thing that I noticed right away is that the actual like throttle response is just so instant. And at the same time, you just hear that. It has like that sound that ramps right up. And I feel like the steering has like a nice soft feel to it with a good level of like resistance. For like an everyday car, it is very comfortable. You feel like you really do have the control in it. But I think best of all, the throttle response is just so quick as you would expect out of any electric car. And especially as like a more like utility vehicle, um, a luxury SUV that is great for families, having a bit of that sportiness, uh, which is the mode that we're in right now, is always nice paired up with a good amount of range. The car just seems to like balance and hold itself very nicely as we go through these corners. I am still trying to get used to it. Uh, it's the first time that I've gotten behind the wheel of this, but compared to other electric cars, I do feel like it just has like a good level of control. Even when you're going really fast, you don't feel like you have to, I don't know, like grab bite onto it. It's also very smooth to drive. And right now we're just driving through in like golden hour. It looks so good outside. Um, and this large screen right here is also very intuitive. I love the way that it's positioned. It's at a very good height that is comfortable to be able to access all of your multimedia, your car settings and everything, as opposed to being like down low. And I also like the fact that they have physical buttons for park, reversed, neutral, as well as drive. A lot of times I feel like electric cars remove all the buttons entirely. And even though that is kind of the future in some aspect, I'm personally not a big fan of having everything a touch screen because there's just ways that you can get confused and having the physical aspect of a few buttons is always nice. In terms of the quality of the finishes, I also found it very comfortable. The perforated leather, the textures, the colors that it is available in all kind of come together to focus on areas that I believe consumers really care about, which is a nice fit and finish, while also giving you a large and intuitive display that does look familiar and easy to navigate after a few days in like a very user-friendly price for what it's able to offer. There's also virtual assistant that is built into the dashboard here, and that is good for hands-free uses. Similar to like your smartphone, such as Hey Siri, um, or Hey Google, uh, Alexa as well. You just have to say, Hey VinFast, give it a command and it will enter it right away. Another feature that is also cool is your different temperature gauges are kind of at a very mid height in the overall dashboard and they chosen to go digital here. I have seen vehicles that have pretty much gone completely touchscreen, but still have like a set of buttons. But I actually feel like this layout right here is very user friendly and the ergonomics of the car are really great. Um, I have uh, my videographer Damien who's sitting in the back. He is six foot five and he actually still has quite a bit of headroom surprisingly. He doesn't really fit in any of our cars, um, even the SUV, but yeah, it looks like you're pretty comfortable back here. Um, and for like a compact SUV being one of the most popular classes of vehicles in general over the past few years, uh, that is always important to have a good amount of cargo as well as comfort for everyone who is sitting in the car. But if you want like the ultimate amount of like cargo um, as well as like seats, then the VinFast 9, the VF9 model is able to give you three rows of seating and that's just one where if you have a large family, you go on a lot of road trips, that would be nice. But I do believe that this is the most popular option in its form factor. So now we're back here after a pretty crazy trip. I have to say that this is absolutely a highlight of my career. Being able to not only see the whole vision of a company that is entering a new market is extremely bold and impressive, but also being able to be up close and just a few like inches away from where the cars are being produced. It's just something that we don't get to do every day and only a few selective times in my entire career. So as someone who loves cars, loves technology, and also likes to look at the consumer market Market from a business standpoint as a whole, this trip was just an incredible experience and we look forward to seeing VinFast's entry into North America, the global market, and also getting it on the road out here in Canada. If you guys enjoyed this video as always, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments down below as to what you think about the electric car industry, and I'll see you all in the next one.